Hello, I'm Renee Esquivel, and you're tuned into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. Now, if you're a uh, systems administrator and you need to access the iDRAC of a Dell EMC server, but haven't yet been able to configure a, a persistent IP address and get it on the network, connect it to a switch port and all that, you can still access it using what's called iDRAC Direct. Just need a micro USB cable and connect that to your laptop or PC and go ahead and access it. Once you do, uh, the, the credentials are set up. It uses a 169.254 address and you'll see that information in this video. My target system that I use to access the Dell server uh, is a 2019 MacBook Pro. Just goes to show Apple does work. And I didn't want to actually work in that particular environment. I was about 30 feet in a more comfortable setting. And so I remoted into the MacBook Pro using a an iPad Pro uh, M1 silicone 11 inch model 2021. Okay, let's see this all done. Okay, this is the iDRAC. So I'm gonna, just for the sake of being able to view easy, I'm gonna disconnect that device, uh, that USB cable, is just a keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect my micro USB cable. It's type A on one end, so I, and because of the protective case on my MacBook Pro, I don't have good clearance for that USB A to USB C adapter, so I go through an extender. Convoluted, I know, but that's what you get when you have only Thunderbolt ports. And then you connect the USB, micro USB. You see it light up now? And now I'll reconnect that other external keyboard. Okay, now I am connected. And I should be able to access the iDRAC through a special 169254 address. Uh, but I'm going to do that. It's on the uh, MacBook Pro, but I'm going to access it through TeamViewer on my iPad because I don't want to work in this particular setting here. It's not a lot of flexibility, and it's not comfortable, and it's very, very, very dusty. Okay, take a look at the settings you'll get once you connect your PC, be it laptop or desktop, to the uh, micro USB port. Your PC on the virtual USB NIC that will appear, yeah, you're going to get a 169.254.0.4 address, and the gateway will be 0 0.3, and that's what you'll use on your browser, and the login will be root, and default password for the iDRAC is Calvin. Okay, now you see in the browser I put in the address for the iDRAC, 0 0.3, click on show details, and then when that appears, go click on visit this website. And then yes, answer, I'm sure I do want to visit the website. And after a brief pause, you should see the login screen appear. And at this point, provided you know the login credentials, you're home free. Uh, the default, of course, is root. And Calvin, as you saw displayed earlier, uh, click login. And uh, for the purpose here, I'll keep the default password. Uh, we'll be changing that in the near future, but you don't need to see that at this moment. Um, and now you're at the dashboard, and at this point, you have full control. As a systems administrator, you can work on the storage, power the system on and off, restart it gracefully or otherwise. Um, you really are at this point in full control. Okay, um, now I'll just return back to the iPad desktop and we're golden. Okay, it really is simple. Well done uh, to Dell EMC for getting that done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I personally could not find anything that would just make, just show you how to use Dell iDRAC Direct. Um, 
but hopefully this will work. Uh, it, it really was plug and play. Worked very well. Please give me a like and subscribe. I will be having more content coming up on uh, the Dell uh, server, particularly in, in terms of uh, loading an operating system. Okay, look forward to that. I hope you look forward to that, I should say. And subscribe to my channel, and I will subscribe to your channel. Watch your content and leave likes so that we help each other out. Thank you very much.